Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful crystals and seed beads earrings. They're really easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. They're like even a beginner's level earrings. If you like what I'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I release matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done. Like I have this bracelet that I did matching the earrings and I'll link it here at the eye icon to see. If you continue this bracelet you could make it a necklace but in future I will show you how to make a necklace with this pattern but a v-shaped necklace. So stay with me and subscribe with the bell if you want to see this and uh, you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. And down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Ok guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 8 beads in two colors, uh, red and golden and I use 6 red and 2 goldens. And here I use faceted crystals, also called rondelles, and they are 16 pieces, they are 4 by 6 millimeters. And these are 11 ounce seed beads. These are ear wires in this beautiful old gold color. Uh, this is uh, monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters, but you could use 0 0.14 or 0 0.16, it doesn't matter that much. And you could also use different beading thread. This is size 10 beading needle, these are scissors and these are pliers. And the pliers are not obligatory, only if you need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Ok guys and I'm back and what I want to take here is my ear wire and I'm going to take five of these beautiful golden beads. Ok here I have my five on my needle and I will take my ear wire and I will slide those down almost until the end. Of this thread I will leave a small tail here because I want to make a knot. Okay and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and I'm going once and second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I make one more knot just like this and pull again. Okay now this is what I have you see and I'm going to reinforce it. Ok, I'm going around reinforcing it. Ok guys and now I'm exiting out of this bead and what I want to do next is take two seed beads, a crystal like this, then one more seed bead, another crystal and two seed beads again. Ok, this is what I have on my needle and I'm going back in circle through this seed bead here just like this now I have this and I will go one more time reinforcing this part okay now I'm exiting here at this seed bead at the center of my work and what I need to take is one crystal, five seed beads, 
Okay, crystal, five seed beads, and one more crystal. Okay, you see a crystal, a five, and a crystal. And then I'm going back in circle through this central seed bead here. Okay, now I have this. And if you like small earrings, I think you could stop up to here. Make reinforcement and some knots and cut your thread. But I will continue my earrings. Okay, now I will go here one more time through these crystals and these seed beads here. And just like this. And here, guys, as I'm exiting of my crystal, I will go through three seed beads. Okay. I'm exiting through three seed beads here. Exiting out of the central bead. Here I have two seed beads, two seed beads, and this is the central one. And here, what I want to take are six red beads. Okay, I have six Ato red beads. You see what I have here. And I will go back here through this central bead in this direction. Okay, just like this. Then, guys, what I do is that I go through the first red bead here and then take one seed bead and go through the following a two. One more. Go through the following. One more. Go to the next one. Okay, and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and here at my last step, when I finish this circle, I'm adding one golden bead and I'm going through these two red ones. I'm skipping the, the one that's at the angle, this one, and I'm going directly through the red beads, okay? Then what I want to do is go in this direction. Okay, one bead less in this direction. I went too far. Okay, I want to exit through this red bead here, you see. And now I'm going to take one of my two golden atos. Here it is. And as I'm exiting from this uh, red bead, my thread is exiting out of here, if you don't see it. I'm going through the opposite thread. And how I find it, I count one, two beads and I go through the third one here okay like this and I'm going in the same direction where my thread is originally pointing to okay and when I pull I have this and then guys I go here through this seed bead a toe and through this 11 all here and I'm going to repeat what I did here I'm going to take two seed beads okay like this a crystal a seed bead a crystal and then two seed beads okay this is what I have now and I'm doing the same thing that I did before I'm going back in circle through this 11 now here and I pull. Now guys, what I want to do is go around and reinforce this step, okay?
And now guys, I'm exiting out of this central 11 ohm. And what I want to take is one crystal, five 11 ohms and one crystal. Now this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going back through this seed bead here. Okay, like this. And now I'm going to reinforce this part here by going one more time around it. And here I want to go one more time through this central bit, but if it's difficult for you, you could use your pliers. Okay. And now it's time to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay. I'm going here through some beads. And I want to go here in this flower where it will be the best place to make a knot. And let's say I'm here between the red and the golden bead. And what I do is that I do a loop here and I go once, then I go second time through this loop I've made. And then I pull. Then I go through the following seed bead and cut my thread. And by the way, you could repeat this knot several more times. And when you're ready, come here, cut your thread and your earring will be ready. Okay guys, and now my crystal seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will be notified when I release matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. Like I have a bracelet that's matching these earrings and you could make a beautiful set. And if you continue this bracelet, you could even make it, turn it into a necklace and um, I will give you another idea in my future videos how to make a necklace with a V-shape with this pattern. Okay, so uh, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations and down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.